9.3 seconds is obviously incorrect. Our referee here started the timer before the launch even started. The correct 0 to 100 time is... Hold on. This car is loud. 4.8 seconds. Oops, I just realized I actually didn't give you guys an intro. Ladies, I'm joking. We don't have time for an intro. Let's listen to the exhaust of this Mustang. This is by far the loudest car I have ever tested. And believe me, it's much louder in person. And it's not just loud. The Ford Mustang is quick. I decided to give it a quick launch and this is how it went. That is the sweet music of a 5 litre V8 naturally aspirated engine. This car, even when it's idling, even when it's moving slow, it's just telling you, let, let me go, I accelerate, move me fast, please, just, just, it's like, just listen to it for yourself. Speaking of moving slow, you'd need to be driving very slowly or just like PA to get anywhere near the claimed fuel consumption. They claim 12.3 liters to the 100. Yeah, good luck getting that in a Mustang. I averaged around 16.3 liters to the 100 and that's because I was doing this. Okay, exhaust. Every time you do that, you are drinking 5 liters of your petrol. <laughs> but you know what? Worth it. The 5 liter V8 engine you've been listening to produces 330 kilowatts and 529 newton meters of torque. For my friends who don't understand how kilowatts work, that's about 443 horses. For those of you who love news, I know you're thinking, where did you get a horse, Mr. How much? Well, I saw this beautiful horse, so I greeted this lady and she said, hey, can we swap horses? I was like, haha, no, but could I please take a video of your horse and my horse? And she said, yes, so special thanks to her. I don't know if she watches this channel, but still, thank you, thank you, thank you. With all that said, the Ford Mustang is not perfect. You have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but the screen is tiny. In its defense, this Ford Mustang body shape has been around for years, so it, uh, they're trying. They threw in heated seats, cooled seats, you even have those switches to cycle between the different driving modes. I really like them, makes you feel like some kind of pilot. You also have a gear stick, wow! It's a 10-speed gearbox by the way, and you have a proper handbrake for when you wanna do hooligan things. I did nothing with that handbrake. You also have a center armrest, and a proper multifunction steering wheel, which brings me on to the 12 inch digital instrument display. Nice and clear, shows you all the information you need. And if you want to be nice to your neighbors, you can switch your exhaust to quiet mode. That's not me, me now I put it in racetrack. It also has a couple of track apps, my favorite being Line Lock. Should have used acceleration timer for that launch earlier actually. Anyway, what Line Lock does is it allows you to spin your wheels while you stand still and no, I did not do any burnouts because this is not my car. Now we come to the question on everybody's mind. Can you fit people in the back seat? Actually, you can. There are two seats in the back and you can sit there very uncomfortably. I recommend it for short trips because while we're filming around Stain City, Intern was sitting in the back seat and by the end of the day she was very grumpy. As you can see your knees brush on the front seat and depending on your height even your head will be touching the glass there so yeah. But you can fold the seats down if you want to fit long items. Very thoughtful of you Ford, very thoughtful. Which brings me on to the boot while we're here. Those who noticed I'm not wearing my shoes because PA didn't bring a suitcases. So she said I should put my shoes in there, you know, to show the practicality. Anyway, there is a subwoofer at the back and there is no spare wheel. You get a tire repair kit. In terms of capacity, you're looking at 382 liters, which is a lot bigger than what I expected from the Mustang to be honest. So well done Ford. Well done. 
At this point, I really just wanted to wear my shoes, but PA, PA9. After I eventually got the chance to wear my shoes, me and PA started speaking about what we'd have for dinner, and this brings us on to our night scene. What I haven't mentioned yet is that the Ford Mustang has a bang and olives and sound system but no one really cares because I'd much rather just listen to this exhaust all day. At night the Mustang has pony projection lamps, those look really cool. So I decided to take Pierre out on a date, I made a reservation at this place called Jimeli but we arrived so late it was already full so we had to leave, when we left it started raining and as it started raining I was actually kind of happy because it gave me the opportunity to see how it drives under wet conditions. So the Ford Mustang has different driving modes. I switched it to snow slash wet which adjusts the power and the traction and helps to give you more grip while you're driving in such conditions. One thing people will tell you about a Mustang is that it is tail happy and they are not lying. It has 330 kilowatts and it's sending all that power to the rear wheels. So if you're going to be driving a rear wheel car with all that power, keep the safety systems on. And whatever you do, don't switch off the traction control, it's there for a reason. Anyway, after driving around in this rain, we finally found another restaurant called Mabu. Hey, I hope I'm saying these names right. While we get into this parking, allow me to show you this low resolution reversing camera. It is paired with rear parking sensors, but yeah, the resolution is just bad. I know there's raindrops on it, but still, it's bad. So we got in, we spoke, we had food, I had Fanta, I just had to say it because I know someone will ask about it, and then we left. But while we were there, we were actually talking about the reactions people had every time they got into the Mustang. Every single person who sat in the passenger seat of the Mustang had this reaction. Without fail. That is an actual live image of what it's like to sit in the front seat of a Ford Mustang. Don't say I never told you. Ha ha, Mr. How much? Isn't that you? No, it's not. It's someone in the front seat of a Mustang. That's what they look like. Speaking of looks, this Mustang at night, ah, looks clean. Proper, proper, proper. Well done, Ford. Well done. And one more time, just for vibes, let's listen to that V8 engine again. As we transition back into the day, I would just like to say, the Ford Mustang is truly a breath of fresh air. While everyone else is downsizing, going for 2 liter hybrids, 2 liter turbos, Ford has stuck to what makes the Mustang stand out, the 5 liter V8 naturally aspirated engine. I mean, what could ever replace this sound? Beautiful. And the best part is, even the brand new Mustang that's coming this year, the Mustang and the Mustang Dark Horse, will carry on the 5 litre V8 tradition, so was sorted for the next couple of years before electricity takes over everything. Anyway, let me not mention electricity. Next thing, Escom starts bringing back load shedding because they just remembered, hey, you've been having too much electricity. By the way, guys, if you haven't liked this video, please like. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Support local YouTube, guys. It's the right thing to do. We're still on the road to 80,000 subs. So please share this channel with your friends. Share it on your WhatsApp status. Let the people know there's a Mr. How Much on YouTube. Now, let's get to our cost of ownership someone is just here thinking where are these houses where is this nice estate because of its beauty and style and design i decided to film this mustang review well part of this review at stain city stain city is proper when you get money and decide to buy a house go buy your house at stain city this is not a paid promotion i'm just giving you a free plug that place is beautiful i mean look at this what what Ah, guys. Anyway, let's get back to our Mustang. The Ford Mustang you've been looking at is a special edition and they came into the country in limited numbers. So you may or may not find one. The Ford Mustang California Special comes in at 1,213,400 Rand. On finance, you're looking at 23,722 Rand. 
over six years at 12 percent interest a full tank will cost you 1418 rand but let me tell you that full tank won't last you're going to put about five six seven who knows full tanks depending on how you're driving speaking of driving doesn't this scene look like we're driving somewhere in the united states of america uh, maybe it's just me one day is one day if you got an insurance premium of 4000 rand it would bring your total cost of ownership to 29,140 rand with regard to your service plan as you know ford has decided to unbundle their service plans so the service plan is an optional extra with its own price but you do get a four-year 120,000 kilometer warranty as you know i name all my test cars but for this one i asked pa for input she named this car vin diesel even though it's a petrol car with that said i'd like to wish you a happy new year thank you so much for watching the ford mustang special i hope you enjoyed it but from me to you until the next one take care